This is the first in a series of videos on circular trig. And what we mean by circular trig is that basic trigonometry is always done in terms of right triangles. So you have a triangle, one angle is 90 degrees, and you're either finding angles or sides. So we're going to start to break free of that. But first what we want to do is we want to memorize something about angles in degrees and radians. So let's think of a circle. If you start here and you travel around a circle, then that's 360 degrees. And that's how we define actually degrees, is we start with the idea that one circle is 360 degrees, which means halfway is 180 degrees. So if we start here and travel around, uh, that's one semicircle is 180 degrees. Well, half of 180 degrees is 90 degrees. That's where we get our familiar 90 degree angle. If we think about it, if we go 90, 180, 270, so if you start here and you travel around the circle, then that's 270. And these are things that you're all going to want to memorize, right, all these different angles. 0, 90, 180, 270. This is going to be 45 degrees right here. And then if you wanted to, you could split each one of these up. Now these you might not remember the actual numbers, but this is 90 plus 45. If you think about that, well, 90 plus 45 is 135. This is 180 plus 45. 180 plus 45 is 225. This is 270 plus 45. 5, 11, 315. There are two other ones that you're definitely going to want to memorize. Oftentimes they'll put it on a circle like this. I actually like to do it so that it's a little bit different. Let's look at the 0 to 90 again. If we look at 0 to 90 and we put a 45 degree line here. The 45 degree line is halfway between the 0 and 90. Then 30 degrees is going to be a little bit less than that. And 60 degrees a little bit more than that. So you always want to remember that. If you want to draw those out separately, so you can kind of see them. This is what a 30 degree, if this is 45, this is what a 30 degree angle looks like. And the 60 degree angle, if this is 90, that's 45, it's slightly more. So that's 60 degree. So anyway, the first thing I want you to do is memorize these. An entire circle is 360, half a circle is 180, half of that is 90. One, two, three, if you go three 90s, it's 270. And then each one of those are 45. Then let's do the same thing, but let's do it in radians. If we do it in radians, the key to radians is, is that one circle is 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. So if this is 2 pi radians, halfway will be pi radians. That's a half semicircle. That's exactly what, like the relationship between 360 and 180. If you do half of that, half of pi will be half a pi. So that's pi over 2. Now if this is half a pi and that's half a pi and that's half a pi, that's 1, 2, 3 halves. We could write 1.5 pi, but we're going to write 3 pi over 2. Now if you think about this, if this is pi over 2, half of that is going to be pi over 4. And there it gets, here it gets a little bit tricky. Let's divide each one of these quarters or quadrants in half. This is 1, 2, 3 pi over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pi over 4. 6, 7 pi over 4. And what I'm going to want you to do is memorize those.